Hi everyone, Leti here with this beautiful place, Tarot. How is everybody doing today? Today's reading is going to be Messages from the Dragons. So shouts out to Helen from Eye of the Serpent Tarot. I was actually talking to her in her comment section about dragons. We were talking about how we are both Game of Thrones fans and how I wanted to see that new series that's coming out. It's called um, House of Dragon. So if you are on my Patreon, keep in mind Patreon gets these videos ad-free and first. Also on Patreon, there is a Dragons 101 video up. I am talking about uh, the name dragon, the different cultures, uh, ancient civilizations that obviously talk about dragons such as China, the Mayan civilization, um, Africa, medieval art, um, just anywhere in the world, all over the world where the names are different. Also, um, Draco is the Latin word for dragon. Um, so yeah, I do go into detail. We talk about the Leviathan, uh, the book of Job, you know, just uh, Christian culture, how it speaks about the gargoyles, etc. So if you want to learn more, go to my Patreon. My Patreon, there are perks for being a Patreon member. I have $5 and $6 tiers. Um, you can also win a free one hour reading with me. My one hour readings are $100 currently. Um, that is for one hour or a 10 question reading, okay? Shout out also to my subscribers who are in other countries outside of the US, in India, in the UK, in London, um, in Australia. I love y'all so much. I'm sorry that I'm no longer uh, doing PayPal. PayPal, I don't like them because they give people back their money even though you do a reading for them without even asking uh, the reader. So, yeah, so definitely, you know, sorry about that, but shout out to my people that are out of the country. I do have a cash app below if you want to donate, as well as links to like my TikTok, my Instagram, etc. All right, so let's get started. Pile one is going to be the light uh, gray rock. Pile two is going to be the beige rock. And pile three is going to be the dark gray rock. Go ahead, breathe in, breathe out, and pick your pile. You can always pick more than one pile if you'd like. Shouts out to Lily who gave me a generous cash app donation. You guys know I am doing my intention candles, all right? We are have another full super moon, excuse me, coming up in July. So I will be doing more candles for that. Sorry, I just wanted to smell it. Oh, I love the way they smell. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Pile one, if you picked pile one, what are the messages from the dragons in pile one? Go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, guys, especially if this is your first time here. LGBTQ non-binary is always welcome on my channel. Let's get started. Pile one, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors, Ama, Apa, Abuelos y Abuelas, only benevolent, only good spirits are to be here. No malefic, no trickster spirits, and no demons are to be here. Clear this space, please. Um... All right, pile one, what is your messages from the dragons? All right, so we have here frog clan, cleansing, release, and healing. We have a six here. You might be a life path six. The sixth month, January, February, March, April, May, June, you could be a Gemini. Or six is important. It could also be your date of birth is what I'm hearing. Frog clan frogs we call them sapos in spanish sapos might be important to you i'm hearing puerto rico so some of you guys might be puerto rican i think the frog is like or their coquito or something like that is like their um like their animal that they have their national animal i want to say i don't know why they're telling me that but they're telling me that so you might be puerto rican i'm also hearing Taino, Taino. So you might be indigenous, you might be Taino is what I'm hearing because I'm looking at this rock. Now, 
I channeled three different messages as well, and we will go over these messages at the end, okay? And you'll see what I'm talking about at the end with these messages. Cleansing, release, and healing. So I'm getting told that you need to let something go. You might also be doing heavy healing. Um, you might doing, be doing shadow work. If not, you need to. Pile one. Um, I'm getting a lot of grounding and clearing as well as meditation. You might be doing that at this time. I'm looking at my amethyst rock here. Amethyst rock is good for psychic uh, abilities, intuition. So maybe some of you are working on your intuition is what I'm hearing. Cleansing, release, and healing. Some of you are cleansing your space is what I'm hearing with sage, with uh, various forms of cleansing. Some of you are also doing like summer cleaning. Uh, you're getting a little OCD with it, which is good. If not, you need to. You may need to go through your stuff and look at what you have. Okay, so this is a different message I'm hearing. Some of you um, might overspend, I'm hearing. Uh, you might buy too much stuff and you may have to curve your spending. Now, that's not for everybody, but I'm definitely hearing it when I'm hearing cleansing. Your spirit guides want you to go through... Um, your stuff and look at what you have because some of you might overspend all right and you already have the stuff at your house is what they're showing me okay so frog clan all right so my spirit guides wanted me to go through the decks and the cards that all had serpents on them okay so this is the villains tarot deck the disney villains tarot deck and i'm also using uh the chinese tarot and as you know in chinese culture there are dragons okay so we have here jafar with the king of wands and i wanted this card because of um the scepter that he holds that is a snake next we have strength strength which is leo energy and then we have the chariot and again here there is a dragon Okay, so you could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. You don't have to be, or you could have that in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, anywhere in your chart. The chariot is about moving forward victoriously. That is the card, major arcana for cancer. I'm also getting told something's going on with your car or your vehicle, and your car might need healing. You might need to fix your car. You may need to release a, a car or a vehicle and buy a new one is also what I'm hearing, Pile One. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is play a player from the Himalayas, right? And being that this is Jafar, a villain, I'm getting told that you're very confident. You're very snarky. I never hear that word. They're saying snarky. Like you're very spicy or saucy is also what I'm hearing. Strength. We have the two crocodiles here. Hmm. I'm hearing uh, you're a little cunning, Pile One. You're a little cunning. Hmm. You also have people watching you. They're showing me with these eyes. People are watching you probably because you're very confident, sexy. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, LGBTQ non-binary is always welcome here, guys. Change the roles if you need to. If I say it's a masculine card, change it to feminine. Hmm. Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're very appealing is what I'm hearing at this time but some of you guys might be in a little bit of a hermit mode you may not want to go out you may not want to move forward with somebody the strength card is major arcana thank you spirit they're reminding me and it only comes out when you need strength so right now your spirit guides the message for you is you need strength right now to help you cleanse release and heal Maybe to move back into your power. Thank you, Spirit. They're saying to move back into your power, to be the king or queen of wands, to move forward victoriously. The chariot is somebody who is moving forward victoriously. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see. Let's um let's clarify these. I'm gonna use the radiant rider weight just to clarify these. Archangel Michael. Why is the King of Wands here? Show me why the King of Wands here. Give me one on my left hand side. Archangel Metatron. Okay. We got here Eight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, you're definitely going to be walking away from something. 
That's what the cleansing, release, and healing. It could also be a king or queen of wands. You just left a king or queen of wands, or you need to, and spirit is trying to tell you to have strength. That's for somebody. I don't know who that's for, but I'm hearing that. Somebody could have just left a fire sign. If not, maybe you need to forget a fire sign or heal from loving this person is also what I'm hearing. Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Cancer twice, Scorpio energy, telling me to go over the numbers. So now we have seven and eight and six, six, seven, eight. Look at that, guys. That's crazy. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. Strength is eight of the major arcana. Eight twice. So you guys may be seeing eight, eight, eight. So this is why I'm clarifying the King of Wands. Don't forget. That's why it's here. There's somebody that you have to leave. Move forward from. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit saying move forward from. Why is the chariot here? I want to clarify the chariot, Spirit. We got here the devil. Yeah, somebody possibly you were in a toxic relationship with. This is about addictions, uh, lust, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, overeating, overworking. I'm hearing fights with this, believe it or not. And now my, my right shoulder is hurting. Some of you guys have a pain in your right shoulder. Archangel Metatron, remove that for me, please. They definitely give me pains and stuff, guys, to bring it up to you. Well, the devil, thank you. Also, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn. I'm clarifying the chariot. So yeah, you're moving on from somebody that was toxic is what I'm hearing, pile one. Comment down below, give me a red heart. Let me know if this so far resonates. Strength card, Leo, the chariot, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, let's see what your advice is from spirit or from the dragons. I'm hearing draconians. I will, guys, leave the link down below to Tools for Ascension. He has a remove Draco cords um, guided meditation that I definitely recommend. He says that about 80% of the population still has Draco cords uh, connected to them. So definitely, if that interests you, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, also watch it. Okay, He talks about the constellation, the Draco constellation star system as well. Okay? So yeah, definitely check out that link down below. Oh, and there's also a free movie on YouTube. It's in Russian, but there's subtitles. It's called I Am Dragon. It's a pretty cool movie if you if you like dragon movies. Okay, pile one. Let's see what is your advice from spirit. We got the path. Yeah, somebody, you're definitely walking away from somebody. Definitely walking away from somebody, pile one, for the path. No one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path, Buddha. The path to enlightenment is an endless process. You have to practice diligently and with discipline. Eventually, you will become the path itself and fewer struggles and suffering will come your way. Yeah, so I'm getting told that you've had a lot of suffering in your life, pile one, possibly. You are getting told to release, cleanse, and heal. Mm, interesting, interesting, pile one. Comment down below if you chose pile one. All right, all right. And that's pot, that's what Spirit's also telling me. The awakening card is here. Some of you guys are awakening. You may be doing your Dark Knight of the Soul or your Saturn Return, mm, which is a very difficult time. One plus four is a five. Yeah, you might be also drawn to gold. I'm hearing you may wear a lot of gold. If not, gold is important for you. I'm getting drawn to the yellow in both these pictures. One plus four is a five. You're going through change, pile one. The path number four. Okay, let's see. Let's pick. I'm going to randomly pick Archangel Michael. Give me from my channel messages earlier today. Show me for pile one which one best resonates. The left, the middle, and the right. I'm getting told the right. Okay. Let's see. Pile one. We have here the yellow emperor. Wow, that's interesting because of all this yellow. What did I just say, guys? I can't even make this up. And I randomly picked my eyes were closed. 
So China, the Yellow Emperor. You could have a fascination with China, Chinese culture, or Asia. This message, excuse me, this message is coming to you to tell you you are happy and abundant, even if you don't always feel like it. Raise your vibe with music. Yeah, right now I'm listening to abundance music. Um, I'm going to do another reading and another lecture. It's going to be on uh, things to do, the first 15 things you need to do if you acquire wealth, okay? And the reason why I'm going to do this reading and this lecture on my Patreon, guys, is because I know some of my clients are going to be abundant, and I know they don't know how to manage money, okay? So definitely check out that video that I'm going to be doing if uh, you think you might be coming into large sums of money or you just need to know what to do if you ever do inherit money or you know you're going to be famous. Okay, so that's coming up on Patreon and I will do it as a pick a card reading as well. Okay, so comment down below. Let me know if this resonates, if this was accurate. Give me a red heart in the chat for pile one and also shout out to helen from eye of the serpent tarot who i was talking about dragons with this week all right thank you let's keep it moving and grooving okay okay pile those pile those let me clear out the energy from pile one Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Ancestors, Ama, Apa, Abuelos y Abuelas, only benevolent, only good spirits are to be here. Um, okay, pile two, the beige rock. Hmm, pile two. Okay, messages from the dragons. All right, I will use the Rider Waite Tarot to clarify. Shout out to Helen from Eye of the Serpent Tarot, in case you missed the intro. Um, we were talking about dragons this week. If you need Tools for Ascension, he has a guided meditations to remove Draco cording. Okay, if you don't know what I'm talking about, also check that out. As well as there's a video, it's called I Am Dragon. It's in Russian. But there are American subtitles on it. It's a free YouTube movie. It was pretty good. It's pretty good, actually. So I'm getting uh, Norse, Norse and Viking energy here. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit's telling me Norse, Viking energy. Maybe you're, you're European or Scandinavian is also what I'm hearing. You could be from Sweden or Germany. Check out the intro. I said shout out to my international uh, subscribers. India is also what I'm hearing, okay? So you might um, have read the Mahabharata from India. I'm also hearing Vedic. You may um, be into Vedic astrology is what I'm hearing, pile two. I'm hearing you might be Indian. Okay, so sharing your wisdom, pile two. Three plus seven, 37. That could be your age or a 10, sharing your wisdom. So I'm getting told you are a teacher, pile two. You could also be a tarot card reader out here, a psychic, a chosen one. They're going all the names over all the names, guys. You know, whatever you resonate with, a star seed. You may also have a familiar that's a dragon, or you could have had a familiar in a past life. Thank you, spirit. You may also resonate with having white hair or gray hair, pile two. Hmm. I just saw a reader in my head who has gray hair, but I don't know her name. I can't think of the name of her channel, but Spirit showing me you. Oh, what's her name? Shaman Chronicles or something? Comment down below, guys, if you know of a reader with white hair with like shaman in her name. Gray hair. I don't know why they're showing me you. Okay, maybe you're looking at my reading. Okay, I digress. Um, yeah, you could have seen a dragon or you have lizards. Thank you, Spirit. They're saying you might have lizards like um, in your house, like a bearded dragon when you were little. Okay, pile one. <laughs> That's just the first card. What are the messages from the dragons? We got turtle clan. Yeah, see, you could have like turtles. You can have a bunch of reptilians in your house. Um, 
it's funny, a little, little message, guys. I was having this conversation with my friend and we were talking about reptilians. And she was like, what's that? I never heard of that before. So maybe you're either you're into, you know, aliens and such, or yeah, you don't know much about them. That's what I'm hearing. Hmm. So turtle, some of you have a turtle. Grounding, steady progress, and solidity, number five. Hmm. Mm, some of you also have a talisman or an amulet that you need to charge is what I'm hearing, but it could be of a reptile, a snake, a lizard, a turtle, a dragon. So they're showing me this like it's a talisman. If not, it's going to come to you soon. Grounding, steady progress, solidity. Okay, so this is a message for somebody. I'm hearing um, you're making steady progress in life, but sometimes you don't feel like you are. Sometimes you wish you had a bigger stage so you could share your wisdom is also what I'm hearing. If you are a, a tarot card reader, I'm getting this message to tell you, open up a Patreon. Patreon is really good for connecting with subscribers, guys. It shows your clients another side aside from what you show here on YouTube, guys. Grounding, steady progress, solidity. Yeah, definitely open up a Patreon. That's for somebody. Okay, let's see. So my spirit guides told me to use uh, cards that only had snakes, reptiles, etc. So that's why I'm using my Disney Villains deck as well as my Chinese Tarot, guys. And right here we got Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so... There's a reason for me going over this. So I'm going to do a video, a pick a card and a Patreon, 15 things you need to know if you come into large sums of money, okay? And with the Wheel of Fortune card here, I'm getting told that you're destined for greatness, you're destined for fame. We got 10 twice here. So 10 is the major arcana for Wheel of Fortune and 10 is sharing your wisdom, 37. 3 plus 7 is 10. I'm getting told that you're at the end of a hard cycle. We have on here a dragon, a tiger, another turtle. And this looks like a different dragon. So there's differences as well between Western dragons and Eastern dragons. I'm getting told to tell y'all that. You might be very much into dragons. Check out my Patreon, guys, if, if you're interested. Because I did another video, a study on the dragons. Wheel of Fortune. You're going to come into some money pile too. And I don't say that lightly. I don't just be trying to be blowing smoke up your asses. I'm I'm really feeling that for pile two. Also, I'm hearing turtles are good luck. And like the Pacific Islander as well as in Asia, Nagas. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying Nagas in Japan. You might be Japanese or love Japanese culture because I'm hearing Nagas are good luck and good fortune. Wheel of Fortune, guys. And this is from the Chinese Tarot. But I'm hearing Nagas. Okay. Next, we have the Hanged Man. And I think this is Nine of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Pisces, Cancer. Scorpio energy. You might be also into serpents or I'm, I'm hearing Loch Ness monsters, the Leviathan. You guys know that various um, cultures around the world rever the serpents, also sea serpents. I'm hearing sea serpents. So you could be a water sign or you could be a fixed sign. A Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, or a Leo. The Hanged Man, you could be a Pisces as well. You could be seeing snakes in your dreams is what I'm hearing. Hmm. Nine of Cups. You are going to have your wishes fulfilled. Definitely, if this resonates, check out my upcoming video. It's going to be 15 things um, you need to know if you inherit wealth. And I'll do it as a pick a card too. I'm going to put it on Patreon and I'm also going to put it on uh, YouTube. 
Propyl 2 specifically. Hmm. <laughs> the hanged man. Some of you felt like you were stuck. And all you need to do is change your perspective is what I'm hearing. That's what the hanged man is about. He's not stuck. He can come down from that tree at any time. And again, they're showing me the tree. So you have to get grounded. Pile two. They're showing me the trees now. These two trees and these pictures. If you haven't been getting out in nature, go out to nature. Specifically water or trees. Touch trees. Grounding. Maybe you do ground and clear. Maybe you also do a stretching exercise like yoga. Somebody here also does martial arts, I'm hearing. Kung Fu, I'm hearing. Kung Fu. That's for somebody. Comment down below if you do Kung Fu or martial arts. I'm hearing samurai. Somebody here has a samurai sword. I'm getting th drawn to this pitchfork here in her hands. This is Ursula the Sea Witch. What's the name of the snake in the Jungle Book? I forgot the name of the snake. I love the Jungle Book. I, I love all these Disney movies. We've watched all of them, me and my daughter. You could also have children because I'm bringing that up. You're also very close to animals. You can hear from animals. Thank you. They're talking about familiars here. You have a tiger as an animal totem or some of you have. Thank you, spirit. You have a tiger, a turtle, a snake, a dragon tattooed on you is what I'm getting told, or a serpent. That's what I'm getting told. Also, so Chinese or Japanese lettering is what I'm getting told, guys. That's not for everybody. All right, let's see. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. This is Radiant White Writer White Tarot. Show me the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for pile two? The magician. Yeah, you're a, you're a master manifester, pile two. I'm not playing. These are both major fucking arcanas. The Wheel of Fortune and the magician. You are a master manifester. You need to get your thoughts in alignment. You're going to be something famous, something big, pile two. Your wishes are going to get fulfilled, and I'm hearing money. So you know how to manifest. You're an alchemist. The magician has all the tools available to him or her. Oh, I'm hearing higher magic. Okay, so they want me to go over this. So keep in mind, guys, in ancient times, not only were dragons um, sought after, they do believe that they went to extinction because people would use dragons for magic okay for instance if you could get the teeth of a dragon you could manifest you can also grow your empire with people etc i'm also hearing mayan culture here so it was revered in mayan culture as well quezacatl culcocan you might be hispanic if not Asian, the magician, Gemini energy. <sighs> what am I hearing? Some of you, you have a halo above your head. I'm also hearing orbs. Somebody is seeing orbs above their head. Pile two. You can also read auras is what I'm getting told. That could be a psychic gift of yours. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's find out why the Nine of Cups is here. I mean, I basically already know uh, you're gonna you're gonna be rich or famous or something big is gonna happen with you, pile two. But let's see why is the Nine of Cups here, Spirit? Ten of Pentacles. Damn. Yeah, definitely pile two. Check out my my upcoming reading. It's gonna be about inheriting wealth. Because I'm getting told you're going to inherit wealth or you're going to pass down generational wealth. Ten of Pentacles. I can't make this shit up. I'm telling you, basically, I didn't need to clarify this card. I already know what it's talking about. Ten of Pentacles. Legacy, inheritance, wealth, money. You could be an earth sign of Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or you have it heavily aspected in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, etc. Hmm. 
Mm, I'm, I'm getting told to tell you stop feeling stuck. Stop feeling stuck. Get an abundant mindset. Put on um, abundance music um, from YouTube, guys. Wow. I told you I didn't even need to clarify this. I know what this is about. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What is your advice? Happiness. Damn. <laughs> Pile two, I want to know who you are. You got you got a great reading here, man. Happiness, 27. The very purpose of our life is to seek happiness, the Dalai Lama. Happiness can only be experienced when the mind is quiet and the heart is open to making pure connections with your own true self. Yeah, that's why you got to get grounded, guys. That's why you got to get grounded. You got to meditate. You got to quiet down your thoughts. Other people and the world around you. This kind of happiness is only attainable by your sincere values of serving, giving, sharing, and creating for mankind's higher evolution. Yeah, you are my humanitarians. 27, 2 plus 7 is a 9. 9, 8, 9, 10. Two 10s here. Yeah, you're at the end of a difficult cycle. Wow. Wow. There's actually three tens here, guys. Sharing your wisdom, the wheel of fortune, and the ten of pentacles. There's three tens here. You're at the end of a hard cycle pile, too. Something's going on with your eyesight. My eye is, like, itching. <clears throat> you need, might need to get your eyes checked. I don't know why I'm getting told that. Pile two. This is a great reading, pile two. You're definitely going to come into some abundance later in your life. All right, these are two messages left. I channeled very distinct messages. Archangel Metatron, left or right? Here and left. All right, let's see. We have here Quezacalto, the feathered serpent. Hmm. Titi Wukukan, Mexico. This message is coming to you because Venus, the planet of love, is heavy in your chart. Use your intelligence to study and learn and make a better life for yourself. Yeah, some of you also might do stocks. I'm hearing Bitcoin, real estate investment, uh, investments. Invest in yourself. Some of you might be learning how to invest. Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. Some of you could have just came from Mexico as well as what I'm hearing. Some of you are studying, studying about wealth. That's what the magician is here for. They're telling me some of you are studying about wealth and how to call it into existence, the law of attraction. Oh, yeah. Some of you might also win the lottery pile, too, I'm hearing. Some of you might play like the lotto. Wow, I'm hearing sudden wealth. That's why you need to know how to manage money, pile, too. Definitely check out that reading I'm going to do coming up soon. And I already know who my copycats are who are out here fucking hanging off my every word that I say. So that's okay. I got to do it first in order for you to copy it. So, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right, Pio 2. This has been your reading. Comment down below. Give me a, a black heart. Let me know if this resonates in the comment section. Again, shouts out to Helen from Eye of the Serpent Tarot. All right, let's keep it moving and grooving. Archangel Michael, give me fresh energy, please, for Pile 3, Messages from the Dragons. They want me to light some sage, pile three. Some of you have big lips or you put a lot of chapstick or Vaseline on your lips. I'm getting told. I don't know what that's for, but I'm definitely getting told it. All right, pile three. Pile tres. Time to restore. Okay, so I'm getting told to light my sage, guys, because somebody is messing around with your energy, pile three. You need to clear some more. Mm, some of y'all know that people are throwing black magic at you. This 
the sage. Yeah. All right. Time to restore. Some of your energy is not uh, feeling good. Time to restore. 16, 1 plus 6 is a 7. You could be a life path 7. Hmm. Time to restore. Let's see. What are the messages? We got frogs, return, moon. Building dreams, determination, cooperation, 20. Okay, so I'm getting told right away. People want to collaborate with you. You have determination. Keep your determination as well as your free will. Pile two. Um, frogs. You're seeing frogs a lot or frogs are important for you and your culture. You may also be dreaming about frogs. They're going to help you build your dreams. Some of you might do like a vision board. If not, you need to. To help keep you be determined. You need to visualize. Thank you, Spirit. They're saying you need to visualize success cooperation working with others you don't trust people is what i'm hearing pile three we have here knight of swords i forgot the name of this disney movie comment down below oh it's like australia or the rescuers down under knight of swords i forgot the name of this movie my daughter liked that i didn't like that movie that's where he's like the poacher and I forgot this lizard's name. She's like a Komodo dragon. Her name is like Betsy or something. Hold on. I'm trying to remember the name of this movie. Knight of Swords. Coin Swords. Give me a second. I'm trying to remember the Disney movie. That's why they're telling me you could be from Australia or... You also don't trust people because you, you've you seen how wicked people can be. And of course, I can't find it, right? When I'm looking for it. Okay. All right. The Knight of Swords represents someone who's willing to risk it all in active pursuit of their goal. Though illegal poaching lands Percival McLeach on wanted purse posters... He remains determined to add the rare golden eagle, Marahut, to his collection of endangered animals. This tarot card is a sign that it's time to be bold. Act now before your opportunity flies away. I can't think of what this Komodo dragon is called in this movie, but yeah. So this is a poacher. Knight of Swords. I'm getting told to watch out. You might have a Knight of Swords around you that's doing some kind of spell work on you. As well as Temperance. You might have a Sag doing the same shit. Temperance. These are eels from, what's their name? Blossom and Jetsam from The Little Mermaid. And they're the ones that are watching Ariel. You got somebody watching you, pile three. Keep determined, though, and keep keep up on your guard. Like I said, they're telling me you got to up your protection. You got people doing black magic on you. And you know this because you're the emperor. This is the yellow emperor. You might also need to go back and look at pile one. This is a number four of the major arcana. It could be the empress, Taurus, Libra energy. The emperor for me is Aries and Capricorn energy. Yeah, the emperor rules empires. Now, there is a story in China that the yellow emperor was the bringer of knowledge, intelligence, art, civilization in China. And then he descended and he left the earth. The yellow emperor. I just keep getting told to say that. The yellow emperor. This is you, Pio Three. You are in control of your own destiny and your own fate. Somebody has also been looking into your Akashic records or your destiny. They've been pulling your birth chart. This is what I'm getting told, pile three. You know this, though, especially if you're an emperor. You already know this if you're a tarot card reader. 20. Building dreams. You're working hard on your dreams. But you got haters watching you. A poacher. Somebody around you is a poacher. Some Doing something illegal. They want to do something illegal. They might be trying to do something in your identity. 
Oh, they got a dossier out on you. They're writing down things as you say them. Pile three. 20. Your ancestors are watching these mofos. It could be a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Sag that's doing this. They think they're hot shit. This is another reader. Thank you, spirit. They're saying this is another reader that's watching you. They're jealous of you. They're saying transsexual. Could be somebody who's a tranny out here. I don't know. LGBTQ non-binary is always welcome on my channel. Yeah, time to restore. Spirit wants you to lay low for a little bit and get up your energy. All right, here's your advice, pile three. These are messages from the dragons. Also down below, I will put tools for ascensions link. He has a guided meditation on how to remove Draco cording as well as a video. Um, it's a YouTube movie. It's pretty cool. cool. It's called I Am Dragon. It's a free movie. It is in Russian, though, with English subtitles, okay? If you don't like subtitles, I do. I don't mind subtitles. I know people don't like subtitles, but I don't mind it. We have here courage. Yeah, somebody's definitely fucking with your energy. 24, 2 plus 4 is a 6. It is not the strength of the body that counts, but the strength of the spirit, J.R.R. Tolkien. Courage is a spiritual strength taking you beyond all fear and resistance to remove internal and external blockages on your path. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to block your path. These people are trying to stop your destiny, but as I've told y'all before in case you this is your first time watching me, people can't take away what God has given you, especially the gifts, but they're trying to. They're trying to with magic. So it's time to restore, get back to the basics, maybe even learn some higher magic. Some fiery walls of protection is what I'm hearing. Pile three, some moon magic. You might need to brush up on your magic. Six, life path six, two, four, seven. There's something to go over the numbers. Seventh month, July. Sixth month, June. Fourth month, January, February, March, April. Second month, February. Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, Cancer. But all the signs are here, guys. It's a general reading. But you need courage at this time. Dig in deep. Get into your free will as well. Nobody can take your free will away from you. Okay, temperance is also about balance, they're telling me. You might need balance at this time. Know that you're in control of your future. Knight of Swords, you could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You're going to get messages coming in really fast soon as well. Okay, Spirit, did I do it justice? They're telling me what else I have to say. I think that's it. Okay, this is the last message that I channeled. Kulku Khan, Chitsan Itza, Mayan culture, holy flying spirit, serpent. Excuse me, I heard spirit, serpent. You are probably indigenous, African, or from South America. You are going through many ups and downs. All will be good soon. Believe in yourself and the higher realms. Yeah, this is the messages from the dragons. Believe in yourself or the higher realm. So Kulkukan is the holy flying serpent in Chitsan Itza in Mayan culture. Believe in yourself and the higher realms. Yeah. Definitely, guys. Stay up on your magic as well. All right, pile three. Like I told pile two, I'm going to do a reading. It's going to be on 15 things to know if you ever inherit money or wealth. Um, that's also going to be on Patreon. So think about being a Patreon member if you're interested. Comment a evil eye emoji for pile three if this resonates and you don't feel like typing out your whole life. All right, guys. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Oh, and shout out to Helen from Eye of the Serpent Tarot because we were talking about dragons this week. That's where this reading came from. All right, guys. I'll holler. Como dice mi mamá. Bye.